Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again for yet another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. Today we're uh, having a look at uh, this brew here that, uh, as you can see, comes in a proper size can uh, from Russia, St. Petersburg to be precise. It's none other than Zaitikigas Svitli, which is 4.6% alcohol by volume. Brewed by uh, Baltica Breweries. All right, so um, this has been deep chilling in the uh, Swill and Grog beer fridge for uh, several weeks now, actually. And uh, yeah, nice crack there. I'm going to pour it out into this uh, pint glass and give it a try. Yeah. I actually scored this from uh, First Choice Liquor here in uh, Toowoomba. Yes, it was one that I actually bought off the shelf. I think it cost uh, $12 for this can, which to most of you living outside of Australia would seem pretty insane. <laughs> All right, uh, anyway, a nice pour there. Uh, yeah, what we have is a slightly, ever so slightly hazy golden color. Yeah, reasonably effervescent, uh, a disappointing amount of uh, head there, just uh, a fine ring, but uh, I didn't pour it too aggressively. Anyway, some people like uh, beer poured like that anyway, they don't like uh, any head at all. They feel that uh, if they get, uh, you know, some head, they're getting ripped off. Anyway, well, um, yeah, let's move on to the uh, aroma. Okay, getting a lot of uh, sweet grain there. Yeah, I uh, would imagine this is going to be a very uh, malt forward uh, brew. Hmm, it's got a nice uh, ABV. Hmm, yeah, I mean, certainly, uh, yeah, one that uh, would allow you to session this. Hmm, although, yeah, I prefer beers that are up around, uh, you know, five to six percent. But anyway, um, yeah, most of these Russian beers that I've had in the past uh, haven't disappointed. So looking forward to trying uh, Zaitiki Gus Zvitli. <laughs> I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. All right, so time for the taste test, folks. The most important part of the review. Cheers to you all. Let's dive into this one. Hmm. All right. Well, um, up front, getting a nice malt hit, tasting those uh, sweet malts. Hmm. A subtle sweetness, not sickly sweet. Hmm. But uh, yeah, so far it's uh, really hitting the spot. I must uh, have another gulp. Well, it's definitely going down smooth. Uh, the body, it's right on medium. Has a nice creaminess to it. Yeah, nice smooth mouthfeel. Goes down easy. There's absolutely no bitterness to speak of in this one. Uh, it's very drinkable and uh, certainly one that you could session, as I indicated, uh, being at 4.6% uh, ABV. I mean, you could have three of these... Uh, 900 mil cans and um, yeah, still be standing. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, what else can I tell you about uh, Zaitiki Gus Sweetly? Uh, yeah, it's very tasty, nothing offensive about it uh, flavor wise. I'm, I'm rather enjoying it. Uh, yeah, they sold these in um, just you know, 330 mil cans or 500s, you know, for a reasonable price by uh, Australian standards. I'd, uh, I'd buy them quite regularly, probably become part of my uh, beer cycle, uh, as a matter of fact. But I don't know, I had $12 for one of these 900 mil cans. It's, yeah, one of those things you just treat yourself to every, every so often. But uh, I do hope they stay around. Um, I'm quite impressed of late with uh, the um, 
uh, you're well, you know, what uh, First Choice has done. I like they've uh, done this nice overhaul and they've got some interesting stuff there. So do check it out if, uh, you know, you've got a First Choice liquor not far from you. Mm. Anyway, I'm just going to have one last gulp of this and uh, yeah, give it a score out of 10. Oh, I must have uh, another goal before I pass my judgment. Mm. Yeah, very tasty, very smooth. Nothing offensive about it flavor-wise. Uh, it really checks a lot of boxes for me. So, uh, yeah, I think this particular one is a definite 10 out of 10. So, uh, folks... Yeah, do yourself a favor and uh, give uh, Zaitiki Gus Zvitli a try. All right, well, I'm just going to kick back and enjoy the rest of this, and uh, I'll see you all in the next review. But uh, until then, fare thee well, all. <laughs>